Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with a review of the brand new Star Wars of the Black series, Death Watch Mandalorian. He's the final figure in this brand new wave of Black series that I have to review. It's a five figure wave. What an amazing wave and what a great way to round out the wave with the Death Watch Mandalorian. Very cool figure. I have a few nitpicks, but not that much. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the Death Watch Mandalorian's review. So the Death Watch Mandalorian is, of course, a part of the Mandalorian sub-theme. He is number 21 next to the client, and after him will be the uh, Tython Boba Fett, Armored, I believe is his name. Uh, but his bio reads, Death Watch Mandalorian, an extremist clan that attempted to take over Mandalore during the Clone Wars. The Death Watch Mandalorians are tenacious warriors embracing the ancient traditions of their people. Very cool from a very cool scene uh, from Mandalorian Season 1. Obviously, they're in that flashback. I hope to get to see uh, more of them in Season 3, more flashbacks of seeing Din getting trained as a kid and stuff. And then we'll have like a like a even bigger use for these figures. I definitely want to pick up a second one, but... This image is just getting huge. I'm missing the snowy Mando. And then it'll be some Republic security, the Boba Fett, Dark Trooper. Just keep making them. but And I keep buying them. Sadly. Not sadly. But let's get into his review. So in my opinion, this, this figure uh, perfectly captures how he looks in uh, season one of The Mandalorian. Everything on this figure is spot on and majority of it is a new mold. I believe someone was saying that he is reusing some parts from this Mandalorian, but, hmm. Da, da, da. I, I really don't think so. Um, these are a different size. Majority of this figure, or if not all of it, yeah. I think this entire figure is a new sculpt. And if there is any, you know, maybe the torso? No, that's all, that's sculpted indents. No, this figure is entirely new. I think. I'm like, <laughs> anyway, you get my point. But they did an absolutely amazing job this figure. Now, I want to get to my main complaint with this figure, and I will fix this so it won't really be a complaint uh soon but this jetpack just does not and of course it's staying in now wow what okay okay well i guess that nitpick is gone but yeah the jetpack seems to just now it's like in there okay well it was coming off very easily uh, i don't know if that's just my figure i wanted to look at his guns quickly his accessories Oh, so you can see that he comes with the same gun that Bo-Katan and Cosk Reeves have had, and then he has this new one, which uh, kind of looks like something like Boba Fett, uh, Boba Fett's gun, but definitely different. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be curved like that at the end, or if it's just warped, but I assume it's just warped, but these are two very cool guns for the Mandalorian, and obviously it just ports into his uh, holster right there, and of course you get the little uh lock that's what i'll call it but uh just an amazing sculpt on this figure overall here's a close look at that head sculpt phenomenal job by hasbro looks great just a little bit of marking there you can see some paint apps on the torso to get make it look a little damaged just all the armor i love the color of this mandalorian it is a phenomenal figure this is a little off to me i don't know if that's just mine but it's very uh messy very uh sloppy uh and then here on the back you can see that this wraps around which goes into his leg which is very interesting <laughs> just this whole figure has so much detail all over it sorry my dog just walked in and is obviously going to make a fuss. Uh, but this does go down, so you can have him with his rangefinder. So that's always great to get. And then the head sculpt is not like a, one of those Mandalorian sculpts where there's a head underneath. But this one, it looks like there is, but it's just one mold. It's interesting how they did this. Uh, I, I'd always, I'm always interested in how specifically Black Series en engineer their figures. Um, just the choices they make, it's all like to benefit other figures but 
sometimes they just do stuff that's completely different and not consistent with what they've done. Like what I mean is here you have a complete separate uh, mold underneath there. And then obviously with the other Mandalorians, they're uh, unhelmetable or not the other ones, but they're unhelmetable. But uh, this one, like I was saying, is molded. This one from the, uh, this is just the normal number one uh, Mandalorian, but he has a separate mold there. And the same goes with, you know, the, uh, most of the other Ma Mandalorians from recent because their helmets do come off. But uh, that's all I really have to say about the Death Watch Mandalorian. There's his, uh, his things, his uh, thingamabobs, uh, just his weapons, his flamethrower. can see that's all that's all there is i think i got through all of it so uh like i would just use um but yeah let's get into his articulation so articulation on this mandalorian is very great and i'm going to do it without the jetpack but the head goes up that much goes down that much side side full 360 this is the amount of movement you get obviously the range finder goes up and uh, you can push it back which not supposed to do uh, there is a m movement at the neck though which does go full 360 i'm not going to do it. it's too difficult but the arms go that much there is there's a butterfly joint there it's not the best but it's there full 360 and obviously they are using their modern uh, movement for the shoulder pad which is a uh, full 360 movement but it moves with the arm so you don't get it in the way uh and then it goes this arm, I think, goes up that much. Full 360, like I said. Uh, arms go up that much, down, and go down that much. There's a swivel. And there is movement here, which goes full 360. And then this hand is a horizontal switch, which goes up, down, full 360. This one is a vertical hinge, which goes up, down, full 360. Same thing with the arms uh, on the other side. Ab crunch goes down, not that much. Back that much, side, side, full 360. So amount of movement you get legs will kick forward that much to the side upper thigh cut back not at all didn't even need to mention it uh out that much upper thigh cut like i said single jointed knees which this also moves single jointed knees which go in that much there is a swivel as well uh and then no boot swivel but the ankles go up not at all down and ankle rocker pivot that's the articulation Okay, so I have a lot of comparisons that I want to do with this figure. Obviously, the most important one to me, at least. And you know what's better about this new one is that he actually stands. There we have the Walmart exclusive Night Owl Mandalorian, or Death Watch Mandalorian. That's basically what it is. Uh, but you can see that they are very different. This is, a, uh, I hate to say it, but kind of a crappy figure, looking back at it. Just loose Django fat mold one of the old oldest like black series molds there is uh just compared to this new modern mold there's just night and day uh but you know still a pretty good figure that I did buy for him <laughs> yikes then obviously we're gonna want to compare him next to the Mandalorian even though they never interacted in these outfits then Bo-Katan which I need I'm gonna just go get a new one I think and then I guess I'll put her next to Cosk Reeves, uh, so he could be the stand-in for Axe Wolves, or X Wolves right now, but we are getting a figure of him later this year, or 2023. And then I wanted to compare him next to uh, Paz Vizsla, the uh, heavy infantry Mandalorian. Paz Vizsla. There you go, he'll stand. Then I want to compare him next to the armor. And then I want to compare him next to the original Mandalorian. Then I want to compare him next to a Stormtrooper. I don't know what this fell, but not that I really care. And then, obviously, Boba Fett, which is a, I think, the last recent, recent Mandalorian. If I am correct, I believe so. But you can see that they are both beautiful modern figures with very few imperfections. And then what else do I want to compare it to? I have so much stuff on this table. Uh, I guess Moff Gideon because they probably had beef. <laughs> and then uh, 
501st Trooper. I also, speaking of this 501st Trooper, I am interested if you guys could let me know if you want to see a review of this figure because it's been out for a while, but I didn't get my pre-orders till about a few weeks ago. But I do have five now, and I think it'd be cool just as, like, clickbait, I guess. Sorry to have all five in the thumbnail, uh, but I don't know. They've been in Kenobi recently, so maybe it's hot. Maybe I should. I don't know. We shall see. And then the final thing is the TVC Death Watch Mandalorian, which came out at the basically exact same time as this, uh, just miniaturized. This figure is great, except it took me about 10 hours to put this gun in his hand, which you wouldn't expect. And then another thing is I didn't actually show you guys what he looks like with just this gun in his hand, but he can hold it. And it's, it's the gun in his hand, so options always great to get but that's all the figures i have to compare him to so let's get on to my final thoughts so i want to do my final thoughts and my wave ranking but my final thoughts on this figure is i think it's amazing uh, obviously it's a more niche uh figure for the mandalorian it wasn't in it for that long but it's definitely a cool figure to get uh very happy with the articulation very happy that it is basically an entirely new mold i believe it is and i will stand to that unless anyone corrects me but i think it is entirely a new mold just with you know everything seems to be new but yeah uh i'm a big fan of this figure it's like okay it's hard to say because obviously mandalorian is like the main thing that hasbro and black series are focusing on right now so they're going to try to release all the figures as possible and some are going to be more uh niche compared to others and i think that's awesome i think that's the whole point of star wars collecting you look at the old black series or not black series but the old uh you know retro figures from the last 40 years and there's all these super niche characters and i like that they're doing that with this like same with thing with the uh client but this one is a little different it's not that niche it's the one that rescued din Djarin, so kind of a big deal but my wave ranking is i think number one is going to be echo number two is going to be Ahsoka Tano, number three is going to be him, number four is going to be Omega, and number five is going to be The Client. Uh, all great figures, there's nothing wrong with them, but obviously some are better than the others. But that's what I have to say about that, so thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know if I should review that Fabio for his trooper. My dog is going everywhere. Hi Maggie, hi. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.